Hey YouTube, this is all about Androids.com and just how we showed you to root the Samsung Galaxy Nexus, we'll be showing you how to unroot and how to lock the bootloader. So um, just like before, we'll need to confirm two numbers and that is the Android version. So this one is 4.0.2 and the build number. As you can see right here, it just says the ROM, so it says Android Revolution HD, which we just reviewed. But we will need to go on the actual XDA thread, which is right here or Android Revolution HD and if you scroll down you should mention in the top most developers do this they mention on the top Android version 4.0.2 and official Google firmware is ICL 53F unlike the first one that we did which was ITL 41F so this is slight difference make sure you know that those two numbers now to actually begin the process we will enter fastboot so same as before you're gonna turn your phone off Right there, and um, we will enter fastboot by pressing volume up, volume down, and the power button at the same time. Hold it for a few seconds, and once the phone vibrates, you'll know that it will be entering fastboot. Right there, and I'm not too sure if you can see it, but the red at the bottom is basically saying that it is an unlocked bootloader. Now to actually begin, we will be opening the software, which is called the Galaxy Nexus Toolkit from before. This is how it looks like. And instead of choosing the option 2, which we did last time, Android 4.0.1 build ITL41F, we will be using option number 3, which is 4.0.2. ICL53F. Again, always confirm which one you have. As you can see at the top, the Yak JU is for the GSM model, while the MySid is for the CDMA LTE version. So we'll be going to do number three right now. Once you've entered, it will locate the serial number and it will know that it's in fast boot, so that's good. Next, we will be going to the local C drive. As you can see right here, it has Galaxy Nexus Toolkit. And we will enter that and this is basically the software that we have installed and right here it says put Google factory image here that's a folder and you will be downloading the image um, from the actual official Google website we'll include the links down below so no problem for that and um, just a quick um, heads up normally it would be like this but you will need to rename it as a tar gunzip so TG Z. So put a dot TGZ and you're all set. And the actual option is extract and flash Google Factory Stock ROM. You need to make fast boot mode, it fully says right here. So we'll be pressing number 8. Press enter. Would you like to do this? This will basically unroot your phone. We will say yes. And it is found in the correct folder as you can see. And it will start to um, do some extraction as you can see on the side right there it's extracting a couple of folders in real time so at the bottom here you can see what is it doing and right now it's flashing uh, it's flashing the uh, radio image so that's good and you'll see your phone turn on and off reboot turn on and off that's perfectly fine that's the actual process going so taking a look at the phone itself you can see that at the bottom there's a small blue line of text that just tells you exactly what's going on. If I read it right now, it says it is downloading the um, image. So that's perfectly fine. Let's just wait for this process to go on. And uh, it should take about maybe 10 minutes in total. So we'll come back as soon as this has um, actually finished the process. So basically from now on, you do not have to do anything much. It will just reboot and flash the image. So we'll get back to you in a second. All right, so we're back. And as you can see, it says uh, the welcome page. We'll just skip everything. And we will be going to view the properties of this phone and see if it is actually stock or not. So app drawer, okay. And as you can see, no super user, no super user app which is fine, that's what we are aiming for right now. About phone, as you can see, Android 4.0.1 and build ITL41F, exactly like the manufacturer. But we are not yet done, we will be going back into fastboot because we have to lock the bootloader. Shut down, same process again. 
and um, within the software, we will be running another um, option. Going back to the actual software, as you can see right there, number 11, relock your boot loader. Press 11, press enter. Are you sure you want to do this? Yes, we want to do this. Press enter. And it's completed. That's how simple it is, guys. Take a look at the bottom. Lock state, locked. And all you have to do is reboot your phone into Android. You can either just press the power button right here. So if you do that, or you could have actually used the software um, and press reboot as an option straight up. And as you can see, no lock. It's completely hidden right now. And this is basically a stock phone which has never been rooted, which has never been unlocked. Yeah, that's basically it. This was all about Androids.com. I hope you liked the video. Uh, please comment and subscribe and we'll get some more stuff for you guys. Also, we have a Facebook page, a Twitter, and a, uh, what else do we have? A Google Plus account. Please add us there. Um, big thanks go to the developer that made this. His name is Mskip from XGA Developers. He is a developer and a forum uh, moderator. So go to his XGA page and thank him for this because it is amazing how, how simple it works and how fast you can get these stuff done. Thanks again.